One of the more common modifications done to a Ruger Mark III 2245 is the slingshot mod. On the Ruger Mark III 2245, there's normally a ball detent that keeps the bolt release either up or down because when they switched the polymer grip, they no longer had uh, the metal frame in which to attach a spring. So what they did is they put a ball detent in instead. What that means is, on a stock Ruger 2245, when you pull back the bolt, the bolt stop stays up. So you can't just pull back and let go like on a normal firearm. What the slingshot modification is, is removing that ball detent so that whenever you pull back on the bolt, gravity pushes the bolt detent down and allows the bolt to go forward. The problem with this modification is, if the gun's inverted, you'll notice that when I pull back on the bolt, the bolt release stays in the up position. You actually have to use your thumb. You'll see that when the gun is upside down, I pull the bolt back, it'll actually lock. This isn't really a big deal because in Canada anyway, most of the time, these firearms are being used for target practice only, so it's not a big deal. For our friends to the south, a Ruger 2245, while not the best choice for self-defense, could theoretically be used in a self-defense situation. Remember, a 22 in your pocket is a lot more effective than the 45 left at home. So the modification that I've come up with to solve this problem is to install a spring on the bolt release lever itself that will push up against the bottom of the barrel slash receiver assembly and it's going to push up right there. You'll notice that I've cut a series of slots into the bolt release lever. That's this lever right here that's moving. The cut on the left was my first attempt and was a mistake. That was in the wrong spot. So don't cut that one. The other two are the important ones. So the middle one which is the wide one, which doesn't need to be that wide, but it is because of my mistake. And then the one all the way on the right. After you've made the cuts, what you do is take a small spring. And this spring I just found in my uh, toolkit. I don't know where it came from. I cut it to the right length. Take that, and you're going to slide it right onto that little post that you've created by cutting. And then when you reassemble the firearm, that spring will push against this part here holding the bolt release lever down when the gun is upside down the spring will prevent the bolt release lever from falling upwards thus locking back the bolt so I'm going to put it back together and demonstrate so here's the gun reassembled with that spring installed and I will show you that now when the gun is upside down that lever will not fall up You see that spring is forcing it back to the down position so the gun will no longer lock the bolt back upside down. And what it does do is when you have an empty magazine push it in when the bolt's back that will hold it up you can now remove the magazine when you insert a new magazine you simply pull back on the bolt it falls down and it goes forward and this does also work upside down so magazine comes out flip the firearm upside down pull back on the bolt forward it goes so there you go all you need is a dremel some safety glasses a little bit of nerve and um, please take heed of my mistake only cut the two slots that you need not the third it'll obviously depreciate its value slightly Here's a picture that shows a bit more clearly the spring installed after the firearm's been reassembled. So you can see the three cuts that I made. The one on the left was the one that was the mistake. The one on the right and the one in the middle are the two cuts that I made to create the post that the spring sits on. And you can see that the spring keeps the bolt release lever in the down position even when the firearm is inverted. I found this modification works absolutely 100%. Your mileage may vary. There's no warranty expressed or implied by uh, you following these instructions. Um, I urge you to take your firearm to a competent gunsmith to have it worked on. I don't encourage you to do it yourself. 
other than that, I think I cover all the liabilities there. Um, and of course, as always, safety first. Make sure your firearm's unloaded and always pointed in a safe direction when you're working on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope that this will uh, make your experiences with the Ruger 2245 that much more enjoyable. See you next time.